Bonofacio, Bonofacio. 5,000 meters above sea level, no phone signal, it was getting dark. All you could hear echoing through the mountains was Bonofacio! Who was Bonofacio and why couldn't we find him? The brothers were scared, it was dark and they were up in the mountains. In Peru, Abdullah told us about a person who took Shahada with him many years ago but lived too deep in the mountains so he couldn't provide much new Muslim support for him. We traveled six hours to the village and once we got there, we had to go a further one hour off-roading through the mountains to reach his house. There were alpacas on the way and lots and lots of fog making it difficult to drive. There was no phone signal, so we had to use the old-fashioned method of shouting at the top of our lungs. We heard a few noises but couldn't locate it, so we had to drive back for the night. We went around looking for hotels, but because the neighboring town was so small, we were very limited. We finally found a hotel and decided to have some dinner. The next morning, the team prayed Fajr and went looking for Bonofacio again. Back up the mountain, past the waterfall. We split up and kept calling out until we finally told someone, we are looking for Bonofacio. To our surprise, it was brother Bonofacio himself. We went up with him, met his family, and he invited one of his friends who after speaking to the team for a bit decided to take his Shahada too, along with Bonofacio's daughter. We didn't want to miss this opportunity and decided to provide a quick new Muslim workshop for them. As cold as it was, both of them wanted to do wudu with the cold water available. Subhanallah. They then prayed Salah with us and were very happy that we came to visit them in such a remote place. They mentioned that the mountain goes even higher where the vicuna and pumas can be seen. So you might be thinking, Subhanallah, I would love to have been the one who taught those people how to do wudu. Imagine the reward every time they pray Salah, but the reality is you can share their reward. If one person accepts Islam, you share in the reward of every single good deed they do. Every wudu, every prayer, every letter of the Quran they read. This is your opportunity to be part of the reward. What are you waiting for?